Hi YouTube. Sorry. Um, my microphone fell. <laughs> okay, so I have four options here. What do you need to know now? Of course, this is for the next two days. And I'm going to try to do this every two days. This is something for you. I'm thinking about turning the next one into love only because I know it attracts a lot of people. They want to know just a love update of whatever comes up. I know that. But this is in addition to my other pick of cards. Okay, so I'm not going to stop doing other random pick of cards as well. So hopefully you like these quick messages. Let me know. Mm, because I don't know if if it'll help it it helps it helps okay if I can help one person that's fine with me okay so let's get started I have four options as usual so if you need more time you can pause it and then let's start with a see why we have what we have here with and this is my edit it okay i'm gonna edit what it says they broke your heart f them so you're going through a breakup or maybe you're still there oh yeah overwhelmed with feelings maybe can't really do a lot you have a lot to do maybe it says a kraken of the underworld the kraken the last big obstacle to take, the last challenge to beat the final enemy, the finish line. The finishing line is close enough to touch destiny, purpose, de determination. There's a purpose because of the, there's a purpose here. Of course, every breakup brings a purpose. Um, I also get, oh, wow. This is your lapse last obstacle it could even be your last heartbreak for some of you give me more on group a spirit guys surrender to fear of change the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always whether you're afraid of a change in your job your health or a relationship or if you Fear aging or death. Repeat the affirmations. I have faith that all is well. See? You need to surrender to some kind of change. Something happened here for a purpose. Because there's good change coming. Okay? Give me more on this situation for group A. Release yourself and really have faith in what's coming. Okay? Why did, why is, laugh sauce, give me more on this group spirit for group A. See, new beginning, stable, secure, maybe a promotion. Wow, ten of cups, happiness. I, s I always feel like it's also wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment here being happy nine of cups and i was gonna say because there's nine cups in this ten of cups it's wish fulfillment and we have the nine of cups okay i feel like you are going to reach a level of happiness here something is coming towards you it's a blessing here i also want to say it's a blessing in disguise you just have to trust you trust this breakup whatever you're going through is gonna bring in something really good for you you have to surrender to the fear of change because you are going towards the sun here you could be a sagittarius a water sign or earth here but i feel like this is a the last obstacle whatever obstacle you went to it's for a purpose and if you really went through it like a champion and you really feel like you are getting over this breakup or whatever here that really caused pain you're gonna be rewarded for it the universe is gonna bless you with something major here wish fulfillment emotional fulfillment I also feel like you're gonna you're gonna really feel in your power here as well that's what I'm feeling here bottom of the deck we have Queen of Wands yep in your power 
overcoming this obstacle with the six of wands you need to let go see eight of cups let go of the past here let go okay because something way better is coming and I've, i i feel pulled to say that it's a blessing in disguise here okay wow beautiful well the eclipse is coming so believe it okay really believe it have faith in this okay let's see b let's see what's your quick message here some good ish is about to happen don't let your issues f it up sorry i have to edit that because of youtube <laughs> So, enchanted summer, enjoyment of life, easiness, public spirit, social sociability, activities, togetherness, new acquaintanceships, waters, healthy laughs, lifestyle, vacation time. I feel like this summer or something is coming really good for you. You need to know this now, okay? Let's see. Give me more on B. I wasn't going to pull these, but I really love this deck. It's my favorite. Surround, surrender fear. You could be a fire sign or dealing with a fire sign. Someone in your environment. Um, let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. Something's coming here. Don't fear it. Something really good is coming. Same with like A and believe it because it's eclipse season. Things are going to change in the most unexpected ways. And it's a very, very powerful year. Okay. Just look around the world right now. It's a powerful year. I can't wait for July 1st. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Enough. Ooh. So the moon wanted to pop out. Not everything is what it seems. Okay, so give me more on this group spirit for group B. Give why these messages. Give me more of why these messages. Okay, page of swords. Learning something here. Learning something. You know, I'm gonna take it because it just popped out like that weird. And page of cups you might be meeting someone new here unexpectedly somebody that wants to romance you you're gonna probably even be kind of busy with your own stuff learning something new or just busy could be could be a water sign or or um, air give me more on this spirit in the summer, I feel like a so summer romance. We have Queen of Wands. There's going to be an attraction here. You're going to be standing in your on your ground. This also speaks of um, someone very um, loves their space, very attractive. Could be a fire sign, like I had said. Maybe there's a fire sign wanting to apologize as well. Um, to an air sign this card i really love it it's so different from any decks that i've seen because the, her skin look at her skin and she's attractive no matter what her skin looks like you know i forget to always look it up she has that condition of white spots i love it so it's like somebody is looking at you and loves your imperfection. Finds it very attractive. Like your imperfections are perfect for them. So you, no matter how you look, you're still on your throne, in your power, and it's attracting someone in. There's going to be a conversation here. One of you is probably a fire sign, like I said. I feel like both of you are going to get on the same page if this is an old person here. I feel like it's love. Or it could be friends, but there's attraction here. 
someone being in their power somebody actually i really feel like it's love you know so if you're here for love then there's love um i think yeah so bottom of the deck we have the empress somebody feel you know someone here needs to work on getting back on their throne becoming that empress or that emperor that the the best you can be the best version you can be here because you're attracting abundance as well temperance see i feel like maybe there's a sag here or a leo um but there could be some kind of um reconciliation from the past or something or maybe mending things with others what else mending things with others really being in your power really having patience or just um healing yourself and becoming this empress or you're very attractive somebody's seen that of you yeah i feel like you're gonna get on the page with someone on the same page with someone here okay so it could be friends or family but i'm feeling like it's love so i hope that resonates okay it could be in the summer enjoyment of life that's beautiful okay so group c i hope that helped thank you so much group c let's get started <laughs> sorry okay so we have you're the ish don't forget it okay this is the extra card that they in the deck you're it don't forget that you're the ish okay sorry i'm editing my my um, cards here because of youtube um let's see what we have home of relaxation to feel at home home part home port privacy retreat create relaxation room renovate decorate properties move maybe you're moving maybe you're trying to relax take a break um because you've been working a lot maybe you're redecorating or re reno renovating something here or maybe you're just retreating okay let's see give me one for c give me more on c spirit guides what do they need to know now oh okay surrender your fear of intimacy you are ready to let love in compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart so maybe you're you're feeling too protective of yourself you've been healing and you're really vibrating high and you probably have a fear of getting back into something or letting someone back in or letting love in okay let's see give me more for group c spare guides the lovers beautiful two of pentacles see not knowing what to do trying to balance stuff out because you've walked away with for, of something that no longer serves you maybe it was one-sided you gave too much here you're on the quest for happiness you had to leave something here and really balance yourself out somebody that you've been in and out of cycles with could be um, but there is love there could be a twin flame as well but someone here is heavily blocked there could be still some love there but you're blocking it because you don't want to get hurt again you gave too much to the situation i feel like this is a past coming back but you'll see how the angel is blocked here and angels they do everything you know they do everything for the other person they do they're always there so i feel like you were an angel to this person you were always there giving always in and out or this person was just in and out of your life or maybe just doing too much and you were never their priority something like that and that's why you're fearing you're you're really resorting to just keeping to yourself and not letting this 
this person in but you're the ish here don't forget it okay you'll be okay with or without this person so you need to let go of the fear of intimacy and let them in whoever wants to come in maybe it is a new person and you're fearing that it could result in another cycle like it was before with someone else that you left behind and you don't want to get back into that vicious cycle but you have to remember your power here you're gonna be fine with or without this person okay that is what I'm getting here but I feel like you're very blocked yeah okay so you could be a water sign a Gemini earth sign oh and then at the bottom of the deck whoops sorry but on the deck we have the six of Pentacles with the nine of cups see I feel like there is a gift coming towards you it's a wish fulfillment I feel like also you're in your power you've healed and you're really protecting your cups up there mm hmm so but this is a gift from the universe like whatever you've put in into the past I feel like the universe is trying to balance things out with you because it was unba it's imbalanced right now. If you gave too much in the past, it's time for your reward. It's time for your gift. Okay? That's what you need to know. So I do see earth, water, Gemini. And yeah. I hope that felt like it resonated. Thank you so much. And let's go to D. D, what do they have to know? I feel like all these are about love. So we'll see. How about yours? If and apologize. You have an extra message here. If and apologize. Seriously, just do it. Somebody here needs to apologize. Very specific message here. Let's see what we have. Stop talking. I think I had this the last time. Shut your mouth and listen. Maybe you're talking too much. Maybe you spoke too much and it caused a problem. Maybe you're refusing to listen to the other person or seeing things differently from a different perspective and you're a little stubborn and now you have to apologize. And maybe you're being stubborn here. This could be with anybody, okay? Healer of hearts. Heal your heart, open up your heart, discover your heart, listen to your heart, give someone your heart, learn to love yourself. Maybe you're protecting your heart. Mm hmm. Or you haven't healed. And it's caused something, a wedge here between you and someone else. You have to listen to your intuition, your heart here. Maybe you spoke too much or you, you talked too much here, which caused some damage. Or maybe you need to forgive, forgive someone. Mm -hmm. Forgive it or let go of resentment. Apologize for having that, for keeping that in your heart, you know. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Very different kind of vibe I'm feeling with that. So just take what resonates. Um, that's interesting. Maybe you said something. Maybe you said something and it hurt someone else. But you said it out of resentment or something about your heart here that hasn't healed. Mm, or maybe you were just protecting yourself. Look, stubbornness wants to pop out. Okay. Um, take it because it just popped out um, and I feel like you have to listen to yourself you have to listen to your heart you have to stop talking <laughs> I mean talking harshly to others um, maybe you're refusing to forgive someone I'm feeling that I don't know why that's probably for one person you have if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something gently observe yourself and become more yielding this will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself see communicating more lovingly that's what i was feeling okay let's see give me more for group d i hope it helps someone i don't know if this is gonna help someone <laughs> 
wow everything is fine so you're acting like everything is fine but in reality you are hurt that's why you said something out of hurt maybe you're hurt you're, or you're just resentful or you're carrying some kind of anger okay and it's hard for you to open up or it's hard for you to think or say something lovingly there's something here that did cause you pain but you're at you're not showing it you're you're acting like everything is fine but it's really hindering you okay king of cups it could be with someone with a scorpio or someone here really wanting to know more about you and there is a immaturity com immature communication here or someone's emotionally immature and bottom of the deck look at that the ten of cups with the ace of cups someone wants to start over or maybe it's someone new here that wants to offer a cup of love but there's still some resentment some hurt that you haven't gone over or you're scared to really let them in so you said something that could have caused them pain or you said something out of fear anger resentment um it could be multi uh, various things here but that's what i'm feeling i feel like this person does want to give this an opportunity but you're too i don't know there's something here that you're not listening to yourself maybe there's some healing you're probably not even seeing things clearly because this this pain is hindering you from opening your heart from healing your your heart from all this pain this resentment um yeah you're not seeing things you know she has her eyes closed and you're ready to just communicate harshly to this person that caused pain could be or maybe this is someone new and you're being a little too stubborn and not taking it so well okay because you haven't healed from the past so you need a heal this is also sorry someone wants to communicate here it's my throat chakra is a cups is a new love too new love or healing self-love healing your heart okay loving yourself it says learn to love yourself and this is a learning card too okay so that is what you need to know now i hope that resonated um interesting thank you so much for watching and i'll be back later with another pick a card bye